This is the Landry Football with Chris Landry. Quick Fix on Radio Influence. Who's easier to teach a new system to? A veteran from another system, this is pertaining in the NFL, or a rookie from college going into the NFL. And it does depend upon the quarterback. Now, now some veteran quarterbacks can easily convert terminology into something that he already knows. Just called differently. Intelligence is the most important quality for a quarterback, along with accuracy, because a quarterback first has to know where to go with the ball, and then he has to get it there accurately. Okay, um, it's why the best quarterbacks are good at what they do. Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, you know, you know the ones. Some of them may not have the best physical gifts that you've seen but they're good at knowing where to go with the football, getting it out on time accurate. You know, you can see a certain quarterbacks that come into the league. A Boomer Esiason was a very accurate quarterback. And was a quick study. Donovan McNabb struggled a little bit. He wasn't as accurate. So I think those are some things to keep in mind in terms of the, the rookie quarterback can come in if he's played under center if he knows how to read defenses going back, well, then he's going to have a better chance of having success than somebody who's going to have to learn from playing out of the shotgun. Um, It doesn't mean that they can't do it. It just means that their background is such that they're going to have to learn some different things. If, If you can learn, if you're, and here's the way I always look at it and explain it. If you've got somebody that knows how, that's good working with their hands, somebody that might be a good carpenter, might be good at you know fixing things around the house, plumbing or what have you. They probably are the type of people that can learn electrical work. Even though they may know nothing about it, they can learn it. They have natural transferable skills to be to do plumbing stuff and electrical stuff. They may be better at one thing than the other because they may spend more time on it, but they are good at it. Somebody like me that it just can't do anything like that, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm not good at any of it. So if a player has transferable skills, great capacity and willingness to learn, you can teach them different systems and styles. If their production is based only on their system and they do not have the transferable skills, that's where you're going to get in trouble. That's where a quarterback is likely going to fail. And then if you do a bad job of teaching and developing them, it's going to be another issue. Chris Landry brings you Landry football every week on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Google Play, and of course, RadioInfluence.com.